Hey, a uh, very brief personal project. This is a MSATA drive. It is a solid state drive. You can get these, this is a 256 gigabyte drive. I got it for maybe around $40 on eBay. Uh, I'm gonna install it in my uh, ThinkPad X220. So I'll just show you the process. It's very, very simple. I've never installed an MSATA drive, but it's very, very easy. The, you know, I've opened my computer a million times. The plugin's right there. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so obviously most important is that you have your laptop turned off and you wanna unlock your battery and release it. Um, you might have one of the smaller, what, six, six volt batteries. I have a bigger nine volt battery. Um, so next you'll notice, if you actually look very closely on ThinkPad models, they have these little symbols right here, okay? Like uh, one is a keyboard and one is sort of a, I don't know, I, I guess sort of a, a bezel kind of thing. We are gonna wanna unscrew all of the screws with those little markers on them. Uh, because the ones with the keyboard will allow us to unscrew the keyboard. The ones with the other thing will allow us to unscrew. We basically wanna take all the top off the computer. Um, so I'm gonna unscrew all of these re um, pretty quickly. You don't have to unscrew these that are unmarked. That is not necessary. Just the ones that have, you don't even need to unscrew that. That's the RAM cover. You don't need to remove this, but um, all the other ones like that, like uh, that, like that, et cetera, et cetera, you need to get rid of. So I'll do that in just one second. All right, so I've removed my screws. I have six of them. You might have more. There are some screws that, I don't know, I didn't have anything in there. By the way, a brief recommendation. Um, this is what I have for unscrewing computer parts and other stuff. This little, I don't know, like, uh, I, I guess a little set. I recommend getting this, something like this. If you are, I, I use it to repair computers. I use it to, I, I used to screw in my sunglasses and other things. This is very nice to have. Uh, of course, you'll need a Phillips head for all of these in case it isn't obvious. But anyway, once you have unscrewed your computer, uh, you're gonna go around to the front, and this is the tricky part because I'm gonna try and do it with one hand. Um, but you are going to want to sort of push forward on the, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do this with one hand, give me a second. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna push forward, mainly on the mouse with your hand, so I'm like pushing that way, and the keyboard will, st will start to come up. It is attached by this thing. You can just sort of peel it off, um, and it will become disconnected. Um, additionally, you might notice there's this blue thingy right here. Um, this one works a little different. You can't just peel it off. Instead, what you're gonna wanna do, um, Oh yeah, there's this little thing. You might need a credit card to get to it. I just got lucky this time. Uh, but there's this little black thing you wanna switch up and it will allow you to just sort of sort of pull this out without putting, don't put any pressure on it. If you need to put pressure on it, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, and then this part will just sort of snap out. Okay, so let's look, let's look at what's inside of here. Um, just in case you don't know. So this of course is gonna be your hard drive over here. Uh, that's not, you don't uh, access it this way. You usually just unscrew one screw here and that's how you get to your hard drive. Um, you have a bunch of different things. So your, you know, your fans over here. But the thing that we care about is down here. So this thing right here, that's your Wi-Fi card and its antenna is hooked up. Uh, so to this little black cord and gray cord, it might actually be different on your computer. But on my machine, there's this blank area right here. This is where we're gonna put the MSATA drive. Now there's a chance that you already have some MSATA thing already hooked up in here, in which case it's gonna be screwed in here. So you're gonna to wanna to take your screwdriver, unscrew it, and it will basically pop open and you can just pull it out, okay? If that's not clear what I mean by that, we're gonna just about, we're gonna do basically the reverse right now, okay? So I'm gonna take my MSATA drive, all right, and I'm going to I'm going to move these wires out of the way. Um, I'm not going to try and unplug them or anything. Now notice, of course, you have these two openings where the screws go, and this is where it actually plugs in. And it is going to plug in this way, sort of to the left. Now how these drives plug in is notice how it's sticking out. Okay, that is how they properly plug in. You, you want to have them sticking out. Make sure there's nothing behind it. I'm going to move this Wi-Fi cord that's sort of under it. Okay, I might have to actually move this a lot around. But once it is deep in there, nice and nice and stable, you just push it down, okay? Now the next thing is I actually need to find a screw to go in here because there's not a screw here. I didn't unscrew something. So I'm gonna look through my little screw, um, uh, I don't know, my little repository. I have a old, an old film case of them. 
Um, but if you just unscrewed something, all you have to do is re-screw this back in. I'll come back in a second with the screw. Okay, so now I found a little screw that fit from my old little film canister. I bet you Zoomers don't even know what a film canister is. I don't know. This is what they used to look like. Back in, back in the 90s, we used to have these. Early 90s, too, you know? Anyway, so you want to find a little screw that fits, as I have one here, a little white one. See, the other thing about screws is... I'm going to screw this in. Mind you, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so you sort of want to hold it down while you're screwing. It is very hard to do this with one hand. I'm going to have to do it down here. I was going to say one thing about screws when it comes to computers is if you want an infinite supply of screws, just keep opening your computer and uh, closing it back up. Because every time I open my computer and, and unscrew everything and then screw it back in, I always end up with extra screws. I don't know. I guess there are just screws I'm missing, but it doesn't really matter, you know? I don't know. As long as it's not wobbling and stuff, it doesn't matter. So anyway, now we have that in place. It should be, if it is nice and deep... Oh, actually, I need to screw this just a little more, okay? Because I didn't... I've uh, got to pay attention, okay? But once it is nice and deep in there... Eh, I don't know how that's... Is that deep in there? I think it is. I think my screw is just not... I probably should have gotten a slightly bigger one. Uh, okay, that's a little better. Okay, it's just wobbling because it's a little... Well, it's not actually wobbling, it just sounds like it is. Um, anyway, okay, so I'm going to put this back on. Make sure everything... Uh, now, to put this little blue thingy back on, let me actually put this more in your face. Notice again, there's this little black thing that you have to pull up, and then you insert back in the little blue thingy. There are probably technical words for all of this stuff, but who cares? Who cares? I'm going to get that in there. Okay. And once it's in there, just put, you know, I don't know, clip down the black thing on top of it so it doesn't move. And then the keyboard, again, you do not have to do any clipping and stuff. You just sort of insert this into the place here. Oh. Don't drop it. Hold on. Okay. Again, so you just take this little thing. Okay, and it is going to plug in nicely. You will be able to feel when it fits in because it'll be a perfect fit and uh, you won't be able to easily yank it out. Of course, you don't want to yank this out. You don't want to break the, rib break the ribbon. Um, and then to put this back in, you want to put the far side in first and then sort of push it that way and then sort of slide it back and everything will click. And if everything, you know, you, or at least things will 95% click, and the rest will click when you put those screws in. So I have a couple parts, you know, one thing, one wear and tear thing, you're gonna have a little bit of movement on your thing if you don't have your screws in. Uh, but everything should be plugged in. Now I'm gonna screw everything back. All right, I think all the screws I originally had in there are now in there, and I am gonna plug this battery back in, lock it back, and I'm gonna boot up and I'm gonna see if my drive is detected. Okay. All right, so I've logged in and I have LSBL CADE to list my block devices. SDA1, that is my classical hard drive. It's around a terabyte. And now we have SDB. So SDB is my new MSATA drive. There it is. So as to what to do now, you want to partition your drive. You want to do whatever with it. But that can be operating system dependent and some other stuff. So I'm going to end this video here because that is the end of our hardware portion. I might, be, um, I might be actually moving over my operating system from SDA to, SD, to our MSATA drive, I should say, uh, and encrypting some stuff. So that might be in another video. But uh, anyway, that's it. That's how you install an MSATA drive on an X220 ThinkPad.